Yeah, you did in 2013. You moved on to Vale. I mean, after being at being at Stoke, they are they are their local rivals. So, was that ever in the back of your mind when when going going to Vale in that move? It was it was the first question Mickey Adams asked me when I went to see him. Wow. Um, he was like, "Can you deal with it?" Um, but for me at the time, I'd obviously gone through a, a bad period at Watford and a couple of loan moves, etc. Um, I just I'd, I'd been away from my family a hell of a lot. I, I needed to be back towards home and to have a, a completely clean slate again. And the conversation I had with Mickey Adams, he asked me, "Can I deal with it?" Uh, for me at the time, being living in the area for a certain amount of time and knowing the values of the Stoke fans and being around the area, I think it's the same in a lot of areas. If you're willing to, to go out and give it everything week in, week out and, and leave nothing on the pitch, I think pretty much every football fan can accept that. Yep. And it's no... Yep. You must have liked that as a challenge, though, Cole. You must have you must have seen that and and gone. Oh, you know what? I am gonna I am gonna prove them wrong, and I am gonna come and come and, and turn turn their mindset. Yeah, I I, I didn't want to just let just well, I didn't want Vale fans to just think, oh, he's closer to home. He'll just you know turn up for us. Yeah, I, I wanted to prove that you know the the fire is still there. I am a good player. And I'll, I'll prove it to you. I'm not just here to mess about. I'm here because I want to. I want to show what I'm capable of. Um, Dale had just been promoted uh, the season before from League Two, so some good teams in League One at that time as well. So there's Wolves in there at the time. Um, so yeah, it was just it was just excitement for me to be able to go somewhere and know that I'm going to be playing week in week out again, uh, and. The other side of it, um, you know, I'm 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 a fighter. I don't back down from a challenge. And like you said, I was I was willing to do what it takes for for me to prove to people that, you know, I'm I'm not just here to mess about. Yeah, I mean, you became captain the following year. I mean, that must have been a proud moment for yourself, surely. Yeah, um, I've I've always wanted to be a captain of a team. Um, so for me to get it. Uh, at that point was, yeah, a really proud moment for me um, to be able to, you know, be the first one out and walk my team out and and do that is, yeah, it's, it's something that brings brings a smile to my face every time I'm able to do it. Yeah, how, say, how, go, go, on. go on, Jacob. I was going to say, was that, was that a time where you really proved your doubt was wrong and you said, you know, I am here to, to play for the shirt and, and, and that's represented through the captaincy? Yeah, and I think I think you've got to do that as a footballer anyway. You've got to you've got to prove that you know no matter what shirt you've got on or what team you're playing for, you you're there to win. That is that is the be all and end all of it. You you fair enough. You might not always play well, but you're there to put in the graft and to do whatever it takes and do the best of your ability to help that team win. And for me to be. So I was recognised for that and be given the, the honour of, of being the captain. Um, yeah, it, it obviously said to me at the time, you, you've done well, here's your reward kind of thing. But now you've got to kick on because now you're the one that's walking out first. So there's a lot more on you. So, yeah, I was ready for that challenge. Yeah, of course, uh, a little while later, a couple of months later, you had a bit of time out with the team. Um, Ryan saying you you dropped for a bit. I mean, you know, talk us talk us through that time. That must have been a, a strange time for yourself. Yeah, I think I think with me getting the captain's armband, I almost then kind of put too much pressure on myself um, in terms of probably going away from my, why, what my job was and making sure everybody else was doing their jobs. Hmm. Instead of, it's not. It's no different. Yeah, you've got the armband, and there's there's more responsibility in certain aspects come that way. But I kind of let that go away from what I was meant to do on the pitch. So I ended up getting a little bit more worried about 
what other lads were doing, etc. And that led to me having some poor performances and rightfully being taken out of the team at the time. It kind of a conversation between me and the, the gaffer at the time. And for me, seeing it myself from a bigger picture really opened my eyes. And yeah, it, it, it allowed me to, to get back to, to what I was good at and what I was doing well. And uh, yeah, it, it carried on from there then. I mean, you, you were reported at the time uh, to said that a talk with Rob Page has sort of helped you through those stages. I mean, yeah, what, what was said at the time to, to reassure you in, at that stage? It, it was literally like what, I, what I've just said. It, we got in and in, we both agreed that I was putting too much pressure on myself and mm. um, was trying way too hard to, to make sure everybody was playing well instead of making sure I was playing well. Um, and he just said, just come out couple of games out or whatever it was and and you'll be ready to go and that was it that was literally all he did he just spoke to me pulled me aside said this is what's going to happen I agreed with him and then it helped me kick on from there then yeah because you were ever ever present the following season yeah sum, sum, sum up that campaign at, at Vale the following season where you played pretty much every week yeah um but, you know, touch, touch, at that time, I was able to get uh, away without having any injuries and suspensions. Um, <laughs> I've not had that many, really, in that career. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, I think, I think if there's one thing you want to do uh, at the start of the season is to play as many games as you can. So for me to be able to play pretty much every game that season was a massive thing. It's probably the most games I've played in a season, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, in a poll last year, you were voted Bale's second, second best left back between 2010 and 2020. Uh, Cole, you've got um, you've got a bit of a funny story here, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so it was between me and Lee Collins, who is now my skipper at Yeovil. <laughs> and the worst bit is he's not actually a left back he's a, he's a center <laughs> off um he played he played quite uh, a few games he played quite often that season at left back for Vale at a time i think right and played and played really well apparently so um i think i think they had a really good season that year as well so i think that sticks out in a lot of Port Vale fans minds so no if, I, if i'm going to lose to anyone then yeah, it is it's fair enough. It's against he, he, he does remind you a lot, though, doesn't he? Uh, now and then, when Port Vale come into a conversation, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you joined Notts County in 2016. How did that How did that move come about? Well, at the, at the end of the, the season with Port Vale, um, we'd, we'd all been called in for contract talks when you get to the end of the season. And... Um, and obviously, me being captain at the time, I went in. I said, oh, just, no, give me the same deal again. I'll sign it. And they told me uh, the, the figure at the time, and I thought it was a joke. So I kind of laughed. And I went, ah, oh, yeah, good one. That's funny. And they were like, oh, no, seriously, like this is this is what's happening. So I think it, was, it wasn't just me. I think it was about nine of us. Um I think we all got offered like 60% wage cuts. Um, wow. So obviously none of, none of us ended up ended up signing. Wow. And that is pretty much why I ended up being a free transfer to, to Notts County. Because I was all, I was all ready to sign again on the dotted line. I was I was loving my time, loving my football. I was captain, I was playing well. Um, so yeah, for, for that to come about at the end of that year was uh, yeah, it was a bit of a weird one. But um, yeah, which led to, I was actually on holiday at the time, um, got back to my phone, had a missed call, and I thought for a, a random number, so I called it up and it was John Sheridan. Uh, and he was like, where are you? I said, oh, I'm in Tenerife. <laughs> and I was the family. Um, he said, right, when you get back, I want to talk to you. And that was literally, I think, the day after I got back from holiday, I went, I went and met him with my agent 